So a few pointers. We start tree pose with a grip that comes from underneath and behind. So if you look from the side, you're gonna see we're getting a little bit of a bicep curl. If you wanna hold from underneath, scoop up, and lift your heel up as high as you can. If you feel discomfort in the knee, you just bring your knee forward and higher. You could also assist with another hand from over or even from under and lift your heel up. But wherever your navel is, that's where you want your heel. And you can see with the line whoo, on my socks that the edge of the heel also ends up with the edge of the inner thigh. Same place where the hand is placed here. So that's tree pose. And as we move into toe stand, we just come forward. At any point, usually about this way, about halfway down, you reach for the floor. And then when you're all the way down, the important thing is that you take weight in your hands. So this is almost like a push up. You can take the weight into the hands and rock forward so you're not in the heel, but you're forward in the toes. Keeping the arm strength, letting you come down without too much pressure in the knee is very important. And then you walk your hands back where the balance needs to start with your spine straight, head over your tailbone. If your knee bothers you, you can have your knee up. There's not any reason to do this with knee pressure. So you push your knee down only if it feels like it's opening the hip and not putting undue pressure on the knee. Your toes are actively pointing behind you and the eyes are placed on the floor about four foot distance ahead of you. You take your left hand up first because that's the calming side of the body connected to parasympathetic nervous system. And the right side up slowly as it's the energy side of the body. When you have pressure between the hands and the fingers, belly and the spine, lift to the pelvic floor, it's easier to get the hips off the heel. And then we come forward with the hands once again to get the weight over the hands and out of the leg, keeping your focus down on that same point, ideally, as you come up and begin again. So this is a posture where you can heal if you have hip pain, knee pain, or ankle pain, and you just have to be careful. If your ankle hurts, you might have to hold it up like this on the shin rather than pulling this way, which is gonna stretch the ankle joint. Again, pushing down only if you feel it in the hip, and if you feel it in the knee, lifting up to keep the knee protected. We have one hand, you can come forward a little bit, but if you start to go forward and the foot slips off your leg, or down to the knee, you've gone too far. So remember, it's always better to do a posture safely with less depth, but with more form. Better form will keep you safe and allow you to heal more quickly.